People ask grandfather and me two questions all the time. They want to know if it's really true that we love each other. If you want to know for sure, you have to come on the tour bus with us and, and see for yourself. But the other question that they ask us is how something like this can happen. A USA Today editor, when he was interviewing us, said, you know, I can understand possibly forgiving the man who killed your father, but he said, but loving him? That seems almost morbid. And you know, it would be if it wasn't true. But the answer to why and how something like this can happen is really very simple. It's God's grace and the power of his word. Now I'm going to ask grandfather to tell you in his own talk what God has done for him. And then I'm going to translate it into your talk as best as I can. A long time ago I wasn't a God follower. Nobody had ever come to teach me how. Even my parents and grandparents, the ancient ones too, nobody had ever come to teach them how could we walk this trail. We hadn't seen the markings that mark this trail. So how could we find it? And then he said, what are we going to do? And then one day, two women came to live with us. One was Dayuma, who had fled from killings in the tribe. And the other one, he said, was Nemo, Star, my Aunt Rachel. Coming, they said, are you people living angry and hating like you used to? Haven't you seen God's markings? And we said, how could we see it? And then they said to us, people, if you keep walking your own trail, when you come to the end, what's going to happen to you? Where will you be? And we had to say, coming to the end of our trail, they'll just put us in the hole in the ground and we'll be dead. Grandfather said, and then, and then, something that I didn't expect happened. I had been listening to this talk and I knew it was a good talk. But because my heart was so dark, I couldn't understand it. He said, but then the Creator, Wang Ungi, He sent Wang Ungi Onawoka, His Holy Spirit. Coming, He took a very strong blood that Jesus, His Son, dripped and dripped for me. And with that strong blood, He did what you foreigners do with soap. When your clothes are dirty, and they have stains on them and you have to wash them. Wang Ungi Onawoka took Itota's blood and with that very strong blood he washed my heart until it was clean like the sky when it has no clouds in it. If you go and speak God's carvings, there will be some people who will say, but I don't want to walk this trail. Well, you just keep walking, but you keep inviting others because others are going to say yes, and they're going to come walking this trail with you. <laughs> Grandfather says, I can't stay here in your place for very much longer. I have to go back to my place with all the trees and speak to my own people there. And maybe I'm not going to see you again, but if you're a God follower and here tonight, when we go to heaven, he said, then I'm going to be talking to you myself. I think he means without Baba interpreting for him. <laughs> Grandfather says, are you foreigners understanding me? And then he said, if you're understanding me, then are you going to say, whoo? 
That's how the Waurani in a group say yes. So, ingi minipa? Uh, okay. I want to ask Minkai to do one more thing before he and Steve leave stage. And uh, this has been such a special thing for us to get to do night after night to uh, share with you, I believe, the closest thing to the music of heaven I can imagine as Minkai sings in his language of our Redeemer's faithfulness and I'll sing in our language of our Redeemer's faithfulness to us. As I look back on this road I've traveled I see so many times He's carried me through If there's one thing that I've learned in my life My Redeemer is faithful and true My Redeemer is faithful and true Everything he said he will do and Every morning his mercies are new My Redeemer is faithful and 